Hello and welcome to Just Board, the show about computers, microcontrollers, and more. Today we'll take a look at the Esprino Wi-Fi. This is a development board that runs an STM32F4, which packs a 32-bit ARM processor that clocks in at 100 megahertz. For memory, the board has a total of 128 kilobytes of RAM, and for persistent storage, it offers 512 kilobytes of onboard flash. The board can be powered by this micro USB port, which is also capable of communication. Another way to power the board is by connecting a power supply that outputs anywhere between 3.3 and 5 volts to these pins. There are three built-in LEDs. The red and green ones on the top are user programmable, and the blue one on the bottom is a Wi-Fi activity indicator. There's also this tiny button right here, which is user programmable as well. For networking, the board is equipped with an ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and an integrated antenna. As far as I.O. pins go, there are 22 on the bottom of the board and two additional through-hole pins next to the side here. Of those pins, there's one ground, one 3.3 volt output, and one pin for supplying power. There are a total of 21 pins capable of general purpose I.O., and of those, eight of them can be used as analog inputs, and 20 of them are capable of pulse width modulation. For interfaces, there's three SPIs, two I2Cs, and one UART. For software, the board comes loaded with the Esprino JavaScript interpreter, which is an open source implementation of JavaScript it's designed to run on tiny devices like this. I've talked about Esprino already in a previous video because it's the same interpreter that powers these little PuckJS devices. All you need to get started is a micro USB cable, the Esprino Web IDE, and some basic JavaScript skills. So what's it for? This board is perfect for Internet of Things applications, whether you need to communicate with remote servers over the internet, or just use the Wi-Fi to interact with other devices on your local network. You can also program it to be a wireless access point so that other devices can connect directly to it without requiring an outside network. It's also incredibly approachable to anyone who's ever used JavaScript. You don't really need any experience with microcontrollers or low-level programming to get a project up and running. And in many ways, JavaScript is better suited to handling network code compared to languages like C. This is mostly due to the fact that JavaScript is inherently asynchronous. It came from the world of web browsers, where it's always had to deal with things like UI interaction, network communication, callbacks, and timers. So it has all of the functionality that you'll end up needing to develop applications that concurrently interface with other devices and communicate over a network. So what isn't it for? First off, it's important to understand that this is a microcontroller development board and not a single board computer. So if you're coming from the world of Raspberry Pi, for instance, and you expect this to be like a tiny Pi Zero, you might be disappointed. That being said, if you're coming from the world of microcontrollers or you're just getting into this stuff, you'll probably be pleasantly surprised, especially if you're into JavaScript programming. Well, that's the Esprino Wi-Fi. Go to the comments below and let me know what board you'd like to see covered next. Or let me know what types of projects you'd like to see built using Esprino. And click through to the video on the left if you'd like to see this board in action.